All right, so come on in. This is where I build the computers. This is where I do soldering, circuit boards. I got my 3D printer. If it's got wires, I do it in here. If I have to brainstorm, if I just want to be inspired, I just like working outside. Everything else, in the garage. Your nuts, your bolts, your tools. A whole drawer full of computer fans. So anyone who thinks we're just making this up for the internet, there's your proof that I'm the real deal, baby. Is this, am I wearing this right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. My name's Ian Pfaff. I'm an engineer, graduated from Stanford. Hey. I've had this passion project for the last few years, trying to create an AI robot that's based off of a real person's intelligence. It's insane how close I am to getting this figured out. This is it. This is the super brain. It's basically a way to keep the world's greatest minds from dying and bring them back to life. Just imagine if we took all the writings of Benjamin Franklin, put them into this thing, and this thing became the mind of Benjamin Franklin or William Shakespeare, or Jesus. So who better to test it out with than R. Kelly? If we can't tell the difference between a real R. Kelly song and the robot R. Kelly song, then we know this thing works. And we know that any Benjamin Franklin or Einstein idea that comes out of this later on is legit. This machine could change the world, it could even save it, I don't know. No one writes a song the way R. Kelly does. We need the robot to come up with an original R. Kelly song. And what makes an R. Kelly song an R. Kelly song? Explicit sexuality. Obvious innuendo, or no innuendo. He does it all while still managing to be witty and funny, but you never know if he's in on the joke or not. Basically, it has to be the best and the worst at the same time. And not a lot of people can pull that off. We went through every single one of R. Kelly's songs from all of his albums, starting with the 12 play in 1993, all the way down to The Buffet, which came out in 2015. We did not do Trapped in the Closet, because uh, that's a film. We made a list of about 20 some words. Girl is used 576 times. Sex, 220. The N word is in third place at 215. Obviously, I can't get away with uh, using the real word, and uh, I will be programming Robo Kells to say N-word instead, because I don't want to offend anyone. Pussy, club, freak, F-word, booty. Coming in last place is bow-legged. Surprisingly, uh, pregnant is used more than sexy. It's exciting to be a part of Ian's brain and assist him in something that is so inspirational. I got you so wet, it's like a rainforest, like Jurassic Park, except I'm your sexosaurus. That's what we got to get our robot to do. Like, how do we get the robot to come up with something like that? I know a lot of people have issues with R. Kelly, you know, a lot of allegations. But, as Winston Churchill said, not all great men are good men. So we're just gonna move ahead accordingly. We gotta make a robot. We're gonna build him tabletop, kinda like the thing that grants the wish from Big. So it'll be a torso, arms, and a head that moves left to right. This will kinda make up the skull, a lot of the servos and you know connectivity in here. And then I have some cameras that I'm gonna mount. And these are gonna be the eyeballs. And I just gotta stick it all together with a little bit of fire. Now let's try the other arm here. Here we go. The unveiling of Robot R. Kelly, AKA Robo Kell. Now the eyes are actually two different lens sizes, so I just put this magnifying glass over this one. The mouth has a built-in speaker, as well as this speaker right here, so music and song will come directly from him. Now the brain that I built is inside here. Kind of like the old Greek idea that your brain is your gut, but who cares? So what do you say we make it official? Not bad, what do you think, Kels? Mwah. I'm currently uploading all the data that Sierra and I collected into the R. Kelly brain. Every song, 
uh, all the lyrics, pussy, club, ass, girl, everything we found is going into this thing, forming Robo Kells' brain. Once all that information's in there, we're gonna see if we can get Robo Kells to spit us back an R. Kelly track. Here it is. I'm gonna translate the binary here. All right, let's see what Kells has to say. Girl, 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 pussy club. N-word, ass, feel body. Uh, club, girl, girl, club, baby holler, bow-legged, ecstasy, club. Kells, Kells, pussy club, ass, feel, okay. Um, and then girl, 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 pussy ass, freak, love, love. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so it didn't work. Uh, it should work. So the first song I had the brain make was a disaster. It wasn't even a song. So I called up Cody, who's this great programmer that I know. Ian's got some pretty radical ideas about what is robotics and what is what is human. So I think together we have the, the brain power to, to figure out that element and add it into his robot that he's created. I'm gonna fix this glitch. All right, I think we got it. Both arms together, Cal. Hold my hand, ready, here we go. We're looking from an engineering standpoint and not an artistic standpoint. Uh, we can't replicate R. Kelly without seeing what first made R. Kelly, what the genesis of Robert Kelly was. What I've been inputting is all the stuff that R. Kelly has made. Yes. But I haven't put anything that made R. Kelly R. Kelly mm -hmm. into the robot. He nailed it. It was so obvious. Cody was real helpful in terms of figuring out what we needed to expose Robo Kells to. Uh, music, movies, culture, love making. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pal. I'll just, leave that one to you. <laughs> that was a weird one. We just left R. Kelly's head watching porn for about eight hours. Real baby, R. Kelly baby. Real baby, R. Kelly baby. Real baby, R. Kelly baby. We spent the last week teaching Kells all this stuff, inputting all this mm -hmm. stuff. I asked Robo Kells last night to make a song, and this is what he output. <laughs> That's just brilliant. You read binary? Yeah, of course. It's binary. <laughs> All right. Well, I had to translate it. And here's what we got. We have a song. Oh, wow. We've got the title. We've got verses. we got a chorus. It rhymes. It totally matches a real R. Kelly song. But one of the things that R. Kelly does is every song is about him. Like, it's always about himself. Yeah. Right. Robo Kells knows he's a robot. So it's all about hooking up with Robo Kell. He's self aware. Self aware and trying to get laid, apparently. <laughs> Robo Kell's lyrics creep me out as much as R. Kelly's lyrics. And that's a success. Well, now that we have this, what's the next step? I mean, the next step is we take these lyrics and we see if we can actually make him sing the song and maybe perform it. <laughs> that sounds great. I mean, yeah. it's one thing to read it, it's yeah. another thing to see him and do actually it. Actually, put the artistry to it. minutes away from giving a big presentation to some of the top like engineers, robotics engineers, mathematicians, scientists, computer programmers up here in Northern California. This is a really smart crowd. If they see how incredible this thing is, then it really is a success. Alright, let's do it. Alright everyone, thank you so much for coming out today. Um, imagine if you will the human mind. Science has taught us that we only use 10% of our brain, but imagine if we could harness 100% of the mind. Now, a project that I've been working on for years is the concept of taking artificial intelligence Alright Robo Kells, great job. Sex with a robot. Sex with a robot. Sex with a robot. 
Sex with a robot. Sex with a robot. Sex with a robot.